What's going on guys? It's Would You Rather Friday and I know this was supposed to be the special episode, but I am apologizing because I actually, our rented house had to be cleaned up today and we had to finalize that. And so I had to do adult things and I'm sorry, but if I didn't, you know, this crazy clown would come out of nowhere and slice my throat. So I didn't want that to happen because I like you guys and I didn't want to die so we can continue this relationship. And that's about that. So next week, promise, and Black Ops 2 is coming out next week, so that'll be exciting too. What's up, Mr. I Try Hard? How are you doing? I'm doing good. Oh my god. Sad for the not special episode, but can't wait for next week's uber special episode. We'll make it super special. Yes, definitely. We might have some other guests, which will be great. Ooh. And, you know, maybe, maybe we'll get a hooker for the subscribers and they can all share her. I want a hooker. <laughs> all right, let's get started. <laughs> Would you rather have a daughter who is a complete slut with a lot of friends and does horrible, but she does horrible in school, or have a daughter who has no friends but is a great student? Hmm. Now, how old is this daughter of mine? Let's say she's in high school. So she's not of age yet. Um, that, oh, God. I, I'm going to choose the little, the, the, the good daughter, the end, like, because I'm a guy, right? And, like, I've thought of having kids before, and the, just the thought of having a daughter would make me, like, transform me into, like, this crazy, overprotective father, and I would want to kill and choke to death every penis that would approach her, and it would... It would really, really be hard. So for her to be like a slut and be all like whatever. <laughs> it would I, scare you for... I would... No, I would just commit murder. Like, that, like that's no. the way it would go down. I would just kill people. So yeah, I don't want to go in jail. So I'm going to go ahead and choose the little daughter with nice... Who's nice and has no friends. You could like... Could you imagine like a Mr. I Try Hard kid like <laughs> going after your daughter? <laughs> oh my God. He's like, I'm a boner. And he starts running at my... No, that would not be cool. And you're just waiting there with, like, a two-by-four ready. <laughs> just, just, like, behind the door, smack him in the face. Yeah, that's that. Yeah, I would do that. All right, so here are my thoughts. Like, I'm, you know, as long as my daughter has safe sex, all right, that's cool. Like, as long as she's not, you know, getting pregnant or getting, I don't know, some kind of sexually transmitted disease, that's all right. Um, I don't want a slutty daughter. I would hope she kind of just has sex with people that she loves. But that's not the question, though. She's a whore. Yeah, I know. <laughs> like, like I know that's what I would hope, but I know that's not the case. I know she's, she's this totally slutty she, girl she, who's blowing the whole football team. Oh yeah, dude. She will sit on every piece of wood she finds. <laughs> oh god, no. <laughs> that's but at the same time, like. You know how much it's going to hurt to have a kid who doesn't have friends? Like, you, that's going to break my heart. And Which one's going to break your heart more, though? Well, see, this is what I'm going to do. I'm not having the slut. She can go eat a dick, you know, all she wants. Slutty McSluttington can go away. My daughter, is that, wait, is, Dorothy wait, is, McDorkerson. Is that what you're going to name her? Slutty Mets, McSluttington? Is that... <laughs> The name you're gonna give your slutty daughter, Kelly? I, honestly, <laughs> once I, once I was doing a commentary and I named a girl Slutty McGillicuddy, and <laughs> everyone loved it so much, and I couldn't think of the name, but I just thought of it. So I don't want Slut McGillicuddy as my daughter. I'm gonna okay. take the smart one because that's how I was. I, you know, I didn't have a ton of friends. I did have friends though. Um, but I was a good student, so I think I really benefited a lot because when I go on Facebook and look at all the slutty girls, um, I just have more faith in me to make a paycheck <laughs> than I do them. I love so, how you're trying to be nice about it. <laughs> no, and they're all happy. They are. They have, like, big families, and they're really happy. But the thing is, I kind of like to support myself, and they're all supported by men. And, like, I like knowing the fact that I went to college and that I, well, I guess this YouTube thing kind of helps, too, um, with in terms of making money. But I like knowing the fact that if, like, Alex left me to tomorrow, I could t still support myself. 
I like that fact. And, and so... Besides, would you like to have a slutty daughter that's pregnant at, like, 16 years old, and then you all of a sudden you're a grandma and you're, like, 30? You're like, what the fuck? Gilf living! <laughs> <laughs> Gilf, oh my god. god. I didn't think of that. <laughs> I think it's time we move on. You know what? And first off, you know what? I don't think the slutty girls usually get pregnant. It's the ones without friends who <laughs> Amazing students. They always get pregnant when they're young. This, Yeah, they, you know what? I think you're right. Actually, that's not always true, but it is. I think sometimes all the girls in my school who got, uh, who had teenage pregnancies, they were kind of the girls that were kind of like out there. They weren't pop. Like, they didn't have a lot of friends. They weren't sluts. They just got pregnant, and then I, I don't know, whatever. So, yeah, I'm going to take the smart one, though, because maybe she'll be so smart that she invents something amazing like you know maybe she'll invent another facebook and then she you know i can ride her coattails and there you she, go Money she can buy me vacations and stuff so yeah smart move i'll be her best friend Aww. Oh. all Good right hug. that was a good question i liked that one mm-hmm. Very good. would you rather drink lady gaga's bath water or eat britney spears pubic hair now hold up a second. I don't know what people have against Lady Gaga. I think she's attractive as shit. And I don't know what people have against okay, maybe not the Britney Spears of today, but the Britney Spears of like five and ten years ago. The underage one? Excuse me? The underage Britney Spears? She wasn't underage. How old is she right now? I, I'm <laughs> well, pretty sure she's my age. Well, she was underage for a while there though. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, the hit me baby one more time, I may or may not have used that for, you know. Oh, spank bank? Mute the sound and, and, and make your own sound. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm gonna choose Britney Spears on this one. She uh, fulfilled a lot, of, a lot of my fantasies back in the day. Not anymore, you know, as soon as she started, she started dating that Federline guy, that she went to hell, but... Uh, like, you know, before that, she was cool. And again, nothing against Lady, Lady Gaga. I think she's hot, too. And I think, you know, unless she's wearing a meat coat, then I would be down to hit that, too. All right, yeah, but you have to eat pubic hair in the Britney Spears case. No, you only have to drink water in Lady Gaga's case. But you're right, she could have been wearing a meat suit. And yeah. you could get really sick from drinking meat juice that's in the <laughs> bath water. I think I'd choose the pubic hair. I don't know why, but I feel like bath water is just disgusting because it's all your cry, your everything that's on you, the, like the oil on on your skin and all that hair, and it's just disgusting and dead skin. So I'm gonna go with the pubic hair because at least I get the pussy. What? No, you don't. It's pubic hair. It comes like how the fuck am I gonna get it otherwise? I, uh, you're not. It's, she's just gonna give you a bag full of her pubic hair and she's gonna be like, here you go, oh. and that's it. See, I thought my idea was I would dive down there and get it my... Oh, myself. God. Uh, I, uh, I'm going to drink the bath water. I don't want to... Wow. I don't like having hair in my mouth. It disgusts me. So I don't even want to, like, attempt to eat a whole bunch of it. That's... No. No. You, I don't want to. You got that, like, puke feeling in your mouth whenever you eat a hair. It's weird, but whatever. Ugh, yeah. I just hate that. And then you, it takes so long to get the piece of hair out. I don't know why, but it's always, like, a fucking mission. Yep. All right. <laughs> In the zombie apocalypse, would you rather be the first infected or the last survivor? Ooh. That, okay, so to answer that question, we have to know if zombies keep their, you know, some part of their brain once they're infected. Because if you want to be infected first and you keep, you know, a part of your intelligence, like some kind of conscious, then that's cool. But if you lose everything and you're just basically like a vegetable who runs around, then that's not really fun at all. So I'd rather be the last surviving. See what I mean? I would. You would be dead if you are infected. Well, you're not really dead. You're the undead, you know? No, you're... it's just your body, but your mind has gone on. And if you believe in a soul, that has also gone on. Oh, well, screw that then. I want to be the last infected because either way, I'll be a hero. A hero to nobody because everybody's dead, but I'm still a hero. <sighs> yeah, I mean, but... That's got to be so lonely. It's not like it's going to last forever. You're, you're Like, basically, once you're the last one alive, every zombie in the world is gunning for you. You're not going to last very long. Yeah, that's true. But you would have have you would have had to watch everyone you love die. I guess. Nah. 
Yeah, you don't love anyone. You're right. No, that's <laughs> I'm just true. Kidding. I don't. <laughs> I have no soul. I'm kidding. Um, this is hard. I, I want to do. I want to be the last survivor. I mean, you know what? Either way, I'm going to die. You know, either way, things are going to be horrible. I guess if you're the first infected, you won't really see the how horrible things get. But at least if I'm last, the last survivor, you know, I get to have some fun first. I'll probably have like a pretty good arsenal of weapons if I'm the last survivor. Oh, you hell know? yeah. So you're a badass. I'm, yeah, I mean, I'll have some fun. So that'll be. I'm going to choose that one, you know? Think about Just, the memories. Think, yeah. <laughs> think, like, I mean, think about, like, right before you die as the last sole survivor. Think about everything you did to be the last one alive. That, 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 you know, that one time where you narrowly escaped death and some other guy took it for you. And you're like, you know, I don't know. It feels like if it's a great story. Nobody yeah. remembers that first guy. Yeah, that's true. And you know what? Like, you're going to have so many adrenaline rushes going through you. So, like, even though it's a horrible, horrible situation to be in, like, every time you get an adrenaline rush and then it's over, it's so exciting. Yep. Definitely. So, I guess at least there's that. Yeah, I'll choose that. <laughs> All right. And would you rather live in a world where you can control absolutely everything or live in a world where you can create anything? Hmm. I want to control everything. I don't, like, creating stuff sounds interesting. You know, if you could create, I don't know, buildings and epic things, that would create be awesome. Create the ability to fly, create time travel. Hello, you're, like, not even using your brain here. What are you talking to? No, no, okay, hold up. I just <laughs> want to control all the women in the world and have massive orgies. <laughs> but if you can create anything, you can make that possible. You can create... This gun that you shoot at women and then all of a sudden they are interested in you and then will say everything that, or will do anything that you want. The love gun? The love gun. The gun Cupid has? No, wait, he has a bow and arrow. Yeah, no, you don't want that kind. That's like, that creates clingy bitches. You don't want that. <laughs> we don't want that Cupid shit. <laughs> we, want, we want a real sex gun. No, Cupid, you know what? No, Cupid's arrow is like, it makes clingy people. I don't think anyone wants that. Really? Like, even if you want a relationship, you don't want that person who's, like, all on your ass all day, every day, and they're like, I love you so much. I love you like flowers. And they're just saying the stupid things. That's I guess what you're right. Happens. But then if they become all clingy and stuff, you can, like, control them and take advantage of that stuff and just use them, basically, for sex. Yeah, I guess you could. You're like, it you know, seems, like, pointless. You don't want me to dump your ass, so you better get on your, you know, knees and start doing your job. And she's like, yeah, okay, I love you. I make them cook and clean. See, we have different priorities. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I think I want to create time travel, though, because then, like, even in your situation, you could go back in time and see the orgies of back in the day because orgies were super common. No, but, but like, see, the problem is if you go back in time, then your superpowers don't exist anymore. And you're like, well, this is what? boring. This is just normal. Yeah, life. they do. No, they don't because you just, like... The question is, or do you become somebody now that controls everything or that creates everything? And if you create something to go back in time, that was before you had the ability to create everything. Mind fuck. But you can create anything. Like, you're, you're still going to be that person. If you go back in time, you're still yourself. There's going to be another... No, you won't be running around because you wouldn't have been born yet, depending on when you go back in time. And right, you can still but... create anything. Hmm. Okay, well, if you want to twist the question, that's fine. I'm not twisting the question. <laughs> that's how it fucking works, all right? All right, all right. Your channel, your question, it's fine. <laughs> Whatever. I'm creating anything. I'm creating, like, money machines. I'm going to create time travel. I'm going to be just... I'm going to be this amazing person because everyone's going to be like, wow, she's so smart. She invents all these things. Oh, does she do it? And I'm just going to be like, yeah, because I rock. But I can make people think that. I could be like, all right, everybody loves me, everybody gives me money, and everybody wants to have sex with me. Okay. And it'd be like, it would be the same thing, though, I think. But you don't get time travel, or you can't, like, create the ability for yourself to fly. What's the fun in that? Oh, I'm pretty sure if I, cr like, asked the entire world to create me a flying machine, within a week it'd be done. Maybe, but... <sighs> Sounds stupid when you can get the same thing by just choosing the other option. Whatever. 
Oh my god. All right, <laughs> guys. Please answer the questions below yourself. I love reading when people answer them themselves. And of course, give a small explanation as to why you chose which option you chose. And other than that, have a great day, guys. Go check out Mr. I Try Hard's channel. Like the video if you enjoyed or if you are a slutty daughter or if you want a slutty daughter. <laughs> uh, bye, guys.